me into a sports fan. She's gymnastic royalty and only the third American to win the gold in the Olympic all around. Please welcome the extremely talented Olympic gold medalist, Nasia Lukin. <laughs> Medals, right? Five yeah. medals. She's, uh, how old are you now? 18? Mm -hmm. She's 18 yeah. years old. <laughs> now, years I have old. to ask you because you're so disciplined and you were so incredibly balanced. Yeah, and... do one first now. Yeah, just do one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have to ask you a question. Did you have to give up any anything in your childhood to be where you're at? You must have had to. <laughs> well, you know, I've always loved gymnastics and yeah. my parents, they owned a gym. So from, an, from a really young age, it was how like... Young? Um, well, I was born in Russia, so then we moved over to the United States when I was two and a half. So that's kind of when I started, you know, mm -hmm. being in a gym. But it was like a big playground for me. You know, like the bars were like the monkey bars. And yeah. I don't know, I just loved being in the gym. And I loved being in a leotard. I tried to sleep in a leotard, and they'd have to, like, quietly take it off of me. And if I woke up, I was like, ah! <laughs> so, um... I don't know, I guess gymnastics was just my thing, you know, and I, I love doing it. And I think that really helped that mm -hmm. I never wanted to leave the gym, so. So you don't really feel like you gave up anything, then? Mm -mm. And it's so worth I mean, the gold medal for your individual all around, that is outstanding. I mean, can we just take a look at the footage, which I'm like glued to all summer? Take a look at this. Whoa. That is. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Unbelievable. I did that in my first, uh, my first marriage, but... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but honestly, we would just watch it in Greece. Well, yes. Look at it. Look at you. This is the one I love. Is oh my God. About. That is phenomenal. Look at that. Look at that. How, many, how many hours of, sorry, how many hours of training? How many hours of training really each week go into this? Well, I guess before the Olympics, it was about seven hours a day. Nastia. <laughs> I, I just, before I ask you this other question, the, the level of mind control, when you are doing this, what is going yes. through your mind? Um, well, I guess at the Olympics, it was all, I don't know, you weren't really thinking about it that really? much because you're so, your body is so trained that when you go up there to perform, it's just a lot of muscle memory mm -hmm. and you're just kind of like, go, you salute and you just do it. And in your mind, you're kind of thinking, you know, just to do the same thing that you've been doing in your oh. trainings, mm -hmm. but then you, you get nervous and you're like, okay, I'm at the Olympic games and yes. you know, I don't want to mess this up, but, um, so it is a little bit nerve wracking. Well, you must have yeah, some There are two people anxiety. sitting in our audience smiling yeah. at you because you are the <laughs> only child, your father and mother. Your father is your coach, uh, Valerie, and he himself won four medals for the, when, when it was the Soviet Union at the 1988. was a 1987 rhythmic gymnastic world champion. And she's your baby. <laughs> so, knowing what you went through, the triumph, the disappointment, Valerie, when you didn't get a gold medal, you got the silver. Did you push her for this? Did you want her to do this? What'd you think? Not really. Really? That was, that, <laughs> no, that was her thing, actually. We didn't think actually for her to do gymnastics at all since we live through this world and it is it is a tough world yeah in gymnastics you know I guess it's everywhere that when you take it seriously you know so you didn't push it but oh boy that must have been a thrill wasn't it at the Olympic <laughs> yeah now when you got your gold medal you were very emotional in part because of your dad yes mm -hmm. tell yeah, it was, I, I guess going into the Olympics, it was exactly 20 years when my dad competed. So just to be there together with him was, mm -hmm. I don't know, it was really emotional to make the Olympic team and to go back with him. And um, then just winning the gold medal standing there, you know, it wasn't just for me. It was for my dad. It was for my mom and everyone back here in the States. So I think that just knowing that made me really emotional. Yeah. And I had achieved my biggest goal in my gymnastics career. And also, you're about to join some really uh, famous people, uh, Mary Lou Retton, Carly Patterson, and the Magnificent Seven. You're on the box <laughs> of Weebies. Yeah. Extraordinary what you've done, and we as Americans.
Americans are proud of you. Everybody's proud of you because you did what you wanted to do in your heart. Thanks to you, Nastia Lucan. Have a great day, everyone.